Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Friday, the 5th of the February 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar because today's looks very busy. So swipe down towards the Friday and as you can see, we got some uh, important data uh, that are about to release uh, today. There's some kind of a um, uh, Australian data that were uh, released overnight, RBA monetary policy statement. As we know, we got the um, uh, speech from the RBA governor as well, deep in the night, uh, and the retail sales data were published as well. They were slightly worse than expected, but that's absolutely nothing to, to, to impress people. Um, as you can see, not much... Uh, uh, is going on during the the um, London session uh, not quite important data releases are scheduled uh, here but the key event of the day is of course non-farm payrolls data from the US and unemployment rate from the US both are scheduled for release at half past uh, two uh, as you can see, the North Farm payloads should rise from minus 140,000 to 77,000, uh, which is very interesting uh, forecast. And the unemployment rate should stay um, unchanged at seven, uh, sorry, 6.7%. Nevertheless, the unemployment rate rises uh, slightly every month uh, at about 0.1%, um, uh, roughly. Uh, so this is still not this is still not um, important uh, and key um, rate right now. So I remember that uh, unemployment rate in the US was at the level of 6.2, 6.4. So right now is 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 steadily rising. Uh, we will see how the market will, re will react w if the unemployment rate will um, get uh, to the level of 6.8 percent or even even higher. Uh, there's a change in the private payrolls data, manufacturing payrolls, and of course, kind of an important average hourly earnings that are scheduled um, to release at uh, half past two as well. But the forecast is um, lower than uh, than the last month. The last month was 0.8. Uh, average uh, increase this time is 0.3%, uh, but the yearly uh, increase is 5.1% on average. So it's not it's not that bad. And the average weekly hours should supposed to be um, the same. Participation rate didn't change too much. The forecast is 61.3%. So any any uh, data that will surprise the market participants, so it doesn't matter whether it will be better or worse than expected, might um, trigger some kind of a moves on the uh, on the markets. And the other part of the uh, trading U.S. trading session is, of course, uh, labor data from the uh, Canada unemployment rate and employment change data, part-time employment change, participation rate uh, are all those data from the Canada scheduled, of course, or the, or to release on the same time, half past two. And then we have some trade balance data and um, uh, IV purchasing managers index data as well. Uh, at the end of the day, for all of the uh, crude oil traders, Baker Hughes, U.S. rig count uh, data are scheduled for release at uh, seven o'clock uh, p.m. and uh, this is it. This is everything for the uh, for the Friday. So now we should definitely take a look at the uh, U.S. dollar, uh, Euro dollar, and the dollar to the uh, U.S. dollar to the Canadian dollar. So let's take a look at the U.S. dollar. Everything is going uh, going on as uh, uh, as our scenario um, predicted. Uh, we are uh, climbing above thirty eight percent. Uh, of the Fibonacci retracement of the last wave down. Uh, the local high was already made at 91.55, very nice. And the market, as you can see, is waiting for the data from the US labor market. Uh, if the uh, data will be better than expected, the US dollar might even go towards 91.72, which is technical resistance, or higher towards 50% at 91.95. And this would be very interesting levels because it might complete the ABC pattern, as you can see here, if we uh, make the, uh, some sort of the extension uh, projection of the wave A to the wave B, you can see that uh, around the 50% uh, at 91.74, there is one-to-one 
um, geometry, uh, Fibonacci geometry level. Uh, the other one is at uh, 92.82, which is above the 61% of the Fibonacci retracement. Anyway, this this level uh, of technical resistance 91.72 and the Fibonacci extension 91.74 is really worth to keep an eye on. And the next one is 91.95. So far, so good. Strong momentum, positive momentum, about to hit the overbought uh, levels, so we don't have to. Uh, worry about the overbought condition just yet and it looks like the US dollar uh, is waiting for another uh, wave up Euro dollar if we are on the same page Let's let's check if we are on the same page. Um, you can see this candle here daily time time frame candle clear breakout below 1.2013 uh, the close was uh, 1.1957 nice move down today we are uh, trying to bounce a little bit but still the target is located 1.1916 and 1.1890 this is the zone where the wave c is supposed to be uh, completed so this is the directly opposite situation um, to the us us dollar of course us dollar index is going up the dollar is going up, the euro dollar is going down because people are selling euro and buying uh, us dollar of course so very interesting uh, to see what is what will be the outcome of this of this pattern so far we are just you know, making a nice progress in the US dollar keep going lower towards the oversold uh, conditions as long as the oversold conditions are not hit we are still we, we, we still will have a uh, a, a room to go lower and let me just put a uh, Fibonacci retracement let's say we will choose this low and this high for our Fibonacci retracement levels and as you can see we already hit the 50% of this wave up this is the last wave up the 61% is in a very interesting place 1.1885 the 100% is 1.1890 so this is definitely something to uh, to keep an eye on because I expect some sort of a uh, of, uh, uh bounce or reaction anyway some sort of the reaction on this uh, between these two levels 1.1885 1.1890 so please wait for the data maybe they will trigger some sort of the movement on the on the euro dollar and the last one us dollar to the cad let's take a look at this uh, uh, this pair what is going on here uh didn't change that much really uh, after the breakout so we don't have a rally after the breakout completed right as you can see, we are just consolidating around this level of 1.2782, 1.2835, uh, which was the last technical uh, resistance. Now, uh, this, this highs here will give us some sort of the clue where the next intraday resistance is located, 1.2875, 1.2880. But as you can see, there is a move up and then... Uh, move down move up and move down we got some kind of a bearish uh, sandwich um, uh, here on the daily time frame chart or between these two levels and since then the the market is as you can see uh in the consolidation mode even if we make our even if we put our uh, short-term trend line um maybe this sort of a trend line would be would be interesting for the market participants it might look like some sort of a of a triangle or maybe even a um, um, a pennant uh, price pattern so uh, if there is some kind of a uh, pickup in a in a momentum to the upside we should resolve this uh this consolidation this triangle pattern to the to the upside and we should follow uh, the local trend towards 1.2928 yeah if there is um however a different reaction we are going straight down towards 1.2591 because the downtrend will be continued so this is the attempt to break the, the, the downtrend in a form of a first bounce or maybe even a bullish uh, a, a bullish uh, impulsive wave uh, to the upside but for now we are consolidating inside of the triangle, inside of the pennant, and uh, we are waiting for the for the trigger on the U.S. Uh, dollar to the Canadian dollar market. Maybe today's data from the uh, Canadian labor market will trigger the move to the upside. Let me just uh, uh, do the the last 
uh, last market for today, which is the Ethereum market. Let's just uh, zoom out to see what is going on. As you can see uh, on the daily time frame chart, uh, we just uh, we are far above the NA Fibonacci red present because uh, we've made another higher um, all-time high, basically. So this is now um, the, the high from 2018 is now our uh, long-term technical uh, support, really we are trading up and up there is no mercy for any kind of uh, uh, bears because since this uh, since this uh, kind of uh, uh, pattern had been resolved it looks like some sort of a of a uh, triangle pattern you can see this is something like this some kind of a, a triangle pattern here which, which, which of course is a very good place because it's around the level of 1421 and uh, this is uh, as you can see uh, a low a higher low higher low higher low higher low and then finally after some period of uh, consolidation and, and attempts to break above 1421 we got a we got a breakout right so maybe maybe even we should leave this line here this is our uh, our trend line and uh, it looks like that and this is our horizontal line of the support the green one and it looks like uh, like that so right now we are heading higher and uh, the next target is 1700 which was almost hit which was almost hit so we can just um, put it on that on the chart yes this is our this is our next next target uh, 1700 the next after 1700 dollars is 1755 uh, which is very interesting interesting level based on the Fibonacci uh, structure so as you can see uh, we are diverging slightly uh, the price is diverging from the uh, from the momentum uh, this last wave up was made on the lower momentum than the previous ones but we are still above the 70 level which means that the momentum is really strong and um, positive of course the market is in full control of the of the bulls of course the uptrend is being continued and as long as we are not going uh, let me just put one more technical support uh, as long as we are not going be below 1477 1421 dollars there is no change in the outlook the outlook is bullish and we are going uh, going higher towards next uh, targets on the on the ethereum uh, we are of course on the uncharted uh, uncharted uh, 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 levels right now at un un uncharted uh, t territory basically because this is the all-time high so not quite sure where we can go we can go as high as the moon is basically in theory at least but uh, the next levels will be scaled uh, every one thousand dollars so one thousand seven hundred one thousand eight hundred one thousand nine hundred and two thousand dollars so this is any uh, this is the the, the the most logical um, uh, attempt to to scale the possible target levels so the uptrend is intact please keep an eye on the next targets on the on the ethereum to the us dollar and i hope i see you guys uh, on the monday morning with the new fresh technical analysis because this is everything for me for now thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time bye bye